there. My name is Richard from Silent Peak and welcome to this ACDC Photo Studio Home 2023 review. So in this review we're beginning with the Manage tab which is your bird's eye view of your entire photo collection. Now there's various different ways we can explore our collection. So from the most obvious is we can begin by browsing through our folder structure which includes all our drives, directories and cloud storage. In this case, I have my OneDrive account attached, but better still is to use the catalog view. So once you've set up your photos and your keywords and so on, you will be able to browse your image collection via your albums. So in this case, I have a landscape photos album. We can browse our photos by those who appear in the photos. And we can also browse photos via the rating we've applied any labels, keywords, such in this case, bird, and also commonly used auto criteria defined from the photos metadata. So for example, we could search by all images taken at the aperture of f2.8. We can also create advanced searches. Now advanced searches use compound criteria to find all the images in your collection matching that criteria. So for instance, we could create an advanced search that looks for all images taken within a specific date range, say 2022, with an OM1 with a 50mm lens, for instance. Now going back to any picture, we can double click on it and view the image up close. Now, one of the nice features that ACDC Photo Studio Home 2023 has is face recognition. And perhaps with keen eyes, you can see that there's an outline here, which means that ACDC Home has detector face. And if we wander over to this pane here, we can type in the name of the person and hit enter. And now this image is tagged with Jack. Now, using that manage tab, we can actually search for all images featuring Jack. And of course, use compound information to find all images of Jack taken with a particular camera at a particular place during a particular time. The other thing that ACDC Home will do is that it will crawl my entire photo collection for anybody who looks like this and then tag the name with Jack. This is an optional feature. If you prefer, you can turn it off entirely or perform it on a photo by photo basis. Now, the other thing you might want to do is geotag your images. So what we can do is we can go to the pane um, and, excuse me, go to the panes and we can go to the map view. Now at this stage, we can basically grab our photo or many photos and then browse to the place on the map and then drag our images to where the image was taken. We can see that's yellow. We're going to save all. And what that does is it writes the GPS coordinates to our image. So if we click back onto our image, we can go to our XIF data and we can now see we've got latitude and longitude coordinates. The other benefit of doing this is that we can use our map view to browse our images entirely by the location in which they were shot. So that was photo management in ACDC Home and now it is time to edit a photo. So we're going to select our photo and we're going to click on the edit tab. Now here the wheels begin to fall off a little bit. Here it is advising us that our 16-bit raw image uh, will not be saved as a 16-bit raw image. Instead, our edited image will be saved as a JPEG. Therefore, if you want to edit your raw files and keep them as raw files, you are much better off choosing a CDC professional. So here we have our giraffe. And first of all, we can see that the exposure is a little bit dark and we're going to go to the exposure tool. But rather than the sort of traditional array of sliders, instead we must click on exposure, open up a separate pane and make our adjustments here. Now, of course, this is entirely functional, but it is introducing a slight delay and two additional clicks that we wouldn't have done using a different photo editing application. 
again if we want to increase the level of adjustments we've made we have to continue um, clicking on each tool and launching the separate window so here we're going to do a little bit of let's desaturate the greens a bit boost the orange and then hit done tone curves once again we're going to go back into our adjustment and we're going to do our tone curve and click done so as you can see for editing photos in acdc home is entirely functional but rather clunky we also have a few additional problems so in this case i applied tone curve but let's say that i kind of regret the sort of contrast that i dialed in and i want to go back to the tone curve to make an amendment so i click back on the tone curve but my amendment's gone and what i'm looking at is a brand new tone curve and if i apply this tone curve i'm actually applying a new tone curve over the top of my original tone curve rather than making a correction so i'm ending up with a much more radical result so instead what i must do is undo my tone curve now because my tone curves was my last adjustment that's easy enough i just click on the undo option here my tone curves are gone and i can reproduce the adjustment however if i wanted to go back to my original exposure setting the only way i can do it is undo every successive adjustment until i get to the adjustment i want to amend this is uh, in contrast to other photo editing applications whereby all my adjustments were just piled up here where the sliders were basically where i've left the sliders in the position or a kind of history tab where you're able to sort of jump back through time to specific adjustments and amend them what this means is that you really do have to get your adjustments right each time as you move on and in reality you don't always do that of course your other option is is to revert the image back to its original state at which you can do at any point and then begin again now in terms of additional features we have all the usual sharpen noise clarity and so forth we also have some special effects here we've got the choice of various different filters now i'm feeling like we need to do the 70s today so we're going to double click on 70s and what that will do is automatically apply that effect to our giraffe if we're not so keen on it we can basically bounce through our various different special effects until we find one that we like some of these effects have independent settings so for example uh, the um, old one we were able to basically dial in the age the sort of severity of the effect to our particular test now i think that looks quite good so we click done once again we can also add a frame so we can do some borders so i'm just going to go for a simple border we can adjust the size we can adjust the color contrasts textures you name it let's go for a simple white frame and we can add some text and as you might hope we can put whatever we want we can position the text wherever we like we can adjust the size the color and so forth and that is photo editing in acdc home so to conclude is acdc photo studio home 2023 any good well the answer is it depends it's photo management is excellent and there's very little else that you will ever need however as we've demonstrated in this acdc home review the photo editing leaves a little bit to be desired although photo editing in acdc home is entirely functional it is a somewhat clunky process and you're missing a number of features that you will find elsewhere however underlining all of this is an extremely competitive price at full price acdc home costs around about 59 dollars so when viewed strictly as a photo management tool with a little bit of casual photo editing thrown in on the side acdc home 2023 starts to make a little bit of sense however if you are looking to edit your photos on a fairly frequent basis it really doesn't cost an awful lot more money to step up to acdc professional 
Stepping up to ACDC Professional will give you exactly the same photo management features, so face recognition, geotagging, etc. But a Lightroom style RAW developer, which is one of the best that I've used and at least as good as that in Lightroom. So if you are looking for a photo management tool without breaking the bank, I strongly recommend you give ACDC Home a go. And you can, in the description before, there's a link to a free trial. You'll get to play with this free of charge for 30 days and you don't even have to register your credit card. If you want a full on fully functional photo studio for photo management and photo editing, Pay a little bit more and step up and get ACDC Professional. Anyway, I hope that was useful. My name's Richard for Silent Peak and I wish you a very good day. Bye-bye.